Grandma's 911 calls, the roommate. I lived at home during my college years, working various part-time jobs to help pay for tuition and contribute to household bills, as well as buy my own car. The school I attended was only a 10-minute bus ride away from the house, so there was no reason to move out. At least, not until I got my degree and could support myself. Why am I bringing this up? Because living at home while I attended college meant I never had to deal with a crazy roommate. Unlike the poor young woman who made this call to 911 on April 23, 1985. It serves as a grim reminder that you never really know whom you might end up sharing precious living space with, or if the person is a complete psycho. Anyway, here's the transcript. G, 911, what's your emergency? C, there's something up with my roommate. G, are they sick? Hurt? C, no, but she's probably gonna hurt someone else if you don't arrest her. G, what are you talking about? C, she's insane. Completely batshit. She's turned my first semester of college into a fucking horror movie and now she's disappeared, off doing god knows what. You have to arrest her. G, ma'am, calm down. What is your roommate's name? C, name omitted. G, alright. You said she's disappeared. When was the last time you saw her? C, yesterday morning. G, so not very long. Have you tried contacting her family? Friends? Is there anyone who might know where she is? C, no. I don't know how to get in touch with her family. I barely know anything about them. About her. G, how long have you two been roommates? C, only since September. We're both students at, school name omitted. G, I assume you two both have busy schedules, huh? C, yeah, what about it? G, do you sometimes go a couple of days without seeing each other? C, well, yes. G, so why do you say she's missing? C, she left a note. G, a note? C, yes. It said that she was leaving for a few days and that I should stay out of her room. G, uh-huh, C, there's a real nasty smell coming from there. I'm scared to go inside. I'm scared of what I might find. G, do you believe your roommate left willingly? C, yes, but you have to find her. Before something terrible happens. G, you think your roommate is a danger to herself? To others? C, yes. And even if she wasn't insane, I would still be worried. We have exams coming up, and she takes her studies seriously. Also, she left her wallet and phone behind. And all the sharpest knives from the kitchen are missing. G, you think she stole them? C, I wouldn't put it past her. G, alright. Can you tell me a little more about your roommate? C, what is there to tell? She's so secretive. I know that she's from out of town and that during her teenage years, she spent some time in a psych ward. G, she has a history of mental illness? C, well, that I can't say for sure. I don't know if she's mentally ill. I'm pretty sure she's just a sociopath. Is that a mental illness? G, I don't know, dear. C, whatever. It doesn't matter. Just find my roommate, please. G, I need your address. C, location omitted. G, thanks, dear. I'm sending an officer over to speak with you. He will take down whatever information you may have and search for your place. C, no. You have to send someone to her. Not to me. G, this is standard procedure, dear. Just trust me. Everything is going to be okay. C, you can't promise that. G, stay calm, kid. Stay on the line with me, alright? C, okay. There is a long pause, during which the caller can be heard crying softly. G, are you alright, kid? C, I almost hope you guys don't find her. G, what do you mean? C, I don't want to see her again. I don't want her near me. G, I need you to calm down. C, I'm scared. G, I know, honey. I understand. But you're going to be okay. C, this isn't the first time, roommate's name, has pulled a stunt like this. G, it's not? C, no. G, what happened? C, about a month ago, she disappeared for the weekend. G, uh-huh. C, she didn't tell me where she was going. But she packed a suitcase, so I assumed she had gone home to visit her family. G, uh-huh. 
See, I was sick and stuck in bed for two days, so I would have noticed if she came back. She didn't. Gee, uh huh. See, I didn't hear from her all that time. That didn't surprise me much since we don't talk much even when we're both home. Gee, did something happen? See, that's what I think. She came home very early Monday morning and she looked exhausted. Like she hadn't slept all that time. She was covered in mud and blood. Gee, excuse me, blood? See, yes. She said it was her blood, and that she had been in a car accident. She had fallen asleep at the wheel and driven headlong into a ditch. Instead of trying to get help, she crawled out of the wreckage and walked the rest of the way home. Gee, did she go to the hospital? See, yes, I took her. On the way there, she was acting very out of it and babbling incoherently. Something about a fire and men speaking in tongues. It was weird. Gee, what happened next? See, I thought she had a concussion, but the doctor at the hospital found no sign of head injury. Roommate's name, had a broken arm and four cracked ribs, but other than that, she was in pretty good shape for someone who had been in such a serious crash. Gee, uh-huh. See, after the car accident, she only got worse. I mean, she had always been weird, but now. I didn't feel safe living under the same roof as her. Gee, what did she do that made you feel threatened? See, she began sleepwalking. She would wander around our dorm room in circles, muttering about how she was going to hell and how there were demons coming for her. Sometimes, it sounded like she was praying, but I didn't recognize the language. Gee, I see. See, I began finding dead flies all over. Piled up on the windowsills and drowned in the toilet. And I once found a dead rat on my bed. It had been gutted and drained of blood. I hate rodents. It was disgusting. Gee, and you think your roommate was the cause of all that? C, yes. G, you're sure? C, look, it sounds fucking stupid, but there is no other explanation. At least, none that I can think of. G, just hang in there, kid. Sirens can be heard in the distance. C, I hear them. G, good. Footsteps can be heard, it sounds as if the caller is moving. C, I have to see what's in the bedroom. G, no, you don't. Just stay put, alright? C, no. I have to see it. What if it's? A door opens. The caller screams. The cal abruptly ends. G, hey, are you there? What's wrong? The police found the caller locked in the bathroom, crying and freaking out. It took them nearly an hour to calm her down and talk her into going back down to the station with them. In the room, they found dead rats in various stages of decomposition, heaps of dead flies, and a charred human body. It was later identified as an elderly woman who had gone missing around the same time the caller's roommate vanished. I could not find the cause of death. As for the roommate? She was found a month later, hanging from a tree deep in the woods. A couple of hunters stumbled upon her totally by mistake. She had left along rambling suicide note that only raised more questions than answers. She had died the day she disappeared. Police never found the missing knives or figured out why she had taken them. As far as I know, the murder of the elderly woman remains open to this very day. I don't know what became of the caller, but I hope she was able to recover from the trauma of such a horrific experience. I also hope that her new roommate was much easier to live with than the last.